Hey guys, uh, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals. Um, today I'm working on a project um, in the smithy here. Um, it's for a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine. Um, I've known him for a long, long time. Um, he's a good man. Um, it's uh, it's he's laying up brick at his place um, around the I believe it's the wood stove. And uh, he wants me to make him a um, hanger to uh, hold the tools, you know, like your poker and, and brush and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be working on making that today. Um, this is kind of what we're starting out with, um, just a piece of steel. I've got it laid out already how I'm going to do it. Um, but uh, it's not going to be a real long video, I'm just going to be, you know, shooting short segments in between. Um, I know a lot of my videos are probably getting pretty long and uh, probably boring a bunch of you guys. So um, I'm going to try cutting, cutting back a little bit in my length of time. I um, thought I'd say something too. Uh, this morning, um, I got up and um, my wife informed me of something. Um, a fellow that I've known for, man, ever since I was young, real, real young, went to school with him. Um, he had a very uh, unfortunate thing happen. Um, and it's kind of hard to grasp for you sometimes. Because this stuff doesn't happen, you know, if it doesn't happen to you, you don't realize the significance of it. But um, he had an unfortunate thing happen to him last night. Um, his entire home um, burnt to the ground. Um, it, I mean, it, it basically, from what I understand, the only thing standing is uh, a little bit of the chimney. So they lost everything. Um, and I guess this here. Those of you who don't believe in God and believe in prayer, you can disregard this. But those of you who do, um, if you uh, could pray for uh, Philip and his family, um, I'd appreciate it. My family would be praying for him too. But uh, it's kind of an unfortunate thing that uh, happened to him last night. So, uh, like I said, it's like the 20, 23rd of um, January. But, um, yeah, I, like I said, it's kind of... Well, it's not kind of, it is very unfortunate. Um, but, um, Philip, I don't know if you ever watch any of my videos or even know I'm making them. Uh, I haven't talked to you for a lot of years, but um, we'll be praying for you. So, those of you that do pray in that, uh, if you wouldn't mind praying, I'd appreciate it. And, like I said, those of you who don't believe in God and believe in prayer, you know, just, I guess, disregard it. Um, but, uh, I guess with that being said, um, we're going to uh, get rolling on this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, fireplace, I don't know, <laughs> fire set holder, I guess, um, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get rolling on this and uh, I'll show you bits and pieces as we're going. So, alright, we'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, um, I, uh, I forgot to say too there when I was saying about Philip and his family in that bar, um, he's got eight kids, so uh, you know it kind of makes it harder too, you know, it's not like it's just a faint single fella, you know, I mean that's bad enough, but you know, he's got eight kids and his wife, so I thought I'd say that. Um, this is what we got going on so far. Um, Stand back here behind the camera. Hopefully you can see that. Um, that's what we've got so far. Um, in this end, um, you know. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it. Okay. Um, brightness from the tarp or from the doorway and the window. 
probably don't help, but um, what I'm going to do is I'll bend bend this end down this way. Well, this one will get bent down like this, and then the other side will get bent out. But uh, I'll show you that when I'm when I'm done. So I just thought I'd show you this quick and uh, show you where we're at. So, all right, see you in a bit. All right, guys. Um, here's the one side of our uh, fireplace holder. I uh, got it bent. Um, as you can see, um, I thought I'd show you something here quick too, um, and kind of give you a little bit of an idea on that uh, squirrel roaster. Um, I uh, seasoned the one side, well I seasoned the one part of it, and the one side of the, the stand that goes in the ground. Um, Thought I'd show you how I how I do it. Um, you can see I got it. It's a lot darker. Um, I got it seasoned. I still got a little bit on there. Um, but uh, I'll show you what I did with the front here. Is um, I took and dipped that in vegetable oil, and um, you want to get it like I said, just so it's just warm. Little, so you can't touch it and then stick it in the oil and um, and then uh, you know you, you can either use all oil or I used um, a mixture on this except for the front the tip there um, which I did put a little bit on there but I used um, this is a mixture of beeswax and um, linseed oil burnt linseed oil um, makes a good uh, good um, thing um, like I said this is a little bright a little hot that one part it'll smoke on you so <laughs> yeah um, when it flames up like that it's way too hot for you it's way too hot you don't want it to you don't want it to flame up on you. Try and get some of that smoke out of here. Um, so let it cool, cool down. Um, just keep working that. Till it cools. Keep putting it on there. It'll the um, the metal will suck that suck that right right in into the pores in the metal that the um, olive oil or beeswax or whatever you want to use. Um, it'll suck suck it into the pores of the metal. <coughs> Should really do this. In a ventilated place because it does get awful smoky like you saw so but that's you know that's like what you end up with um, I just thought I'd show you that um, and tell you what I use um, I use vegetable oil or um, that beeswax with linseed oil in it um, works works really good so um, I'm going to take and I'm going to take this out, I'm going to bend this other side and uh, I'll show you, maybe I'll show you that here, get set up here. Um, hopefully I won't be in the way when, uh, when I go to bend it, but I got to be where I got to be. so. Alright, nice and hot. Um, I've taken, I made marks on here before with a uh, chisel. I just marked it so it marked the metal. You don't 
get because when you bend when you go down you know you're you're going down uh, you can get it off like I did there a little bit but you can get that in the back on the anvil um, by heating it up so I'm gonna take this and I'll put guys can see what I'm doing but um, I'm gonna put that back in the back in the forge and um, heat it up a little more again and then I'll do the, the bottom part so all right well I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit then later all right guys um, this is what I come up with. Um, this will be where you hang the, the I guess it's a poker and uh, not sure something else. Um, that's what I came up with for him. He said just use my imagination. So what will happen is these pieces here will get welded to the back like such and then he can put that in his uh, in the wall that he's laying up that brick wall um, I gotta weld these two pieces I'll take and weld them I could paint them just paint them over but I'm just gonna weld them um, here in the back where they come come through um, could peen them, but like I said, but uh, I think I'm just gonna weld them. Um, I don't know if, how well you can see this. Uh, try holding this a little bit closer. Um, let me move this camera. I put it against the darker back so you can see. Um, sorry about the movement and everything, but that's what I come up with. Um, like I said, I'll have to weld those backs in. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was going to weld these on, weld everything in place, and uh, my welder ran out of gas. My MIG welder ran out of gas. So, so I got to. Wait till I get into town to get some gas for it. Um, hopefully before too long I can do that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I probably won't shoot any more on it. Uh, you can see what it's supposed to do and how it's supposed to be. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, I just this is something I had to get done for a good friend of mine, JD. If you're watching, uh, I hope you like this. Um, so, well, I guess with that being said, take care, God bless, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.